Hey everybody, lay off Brian Williams. He who has not lied about being shot down by an RPG over Iraq, throw the first stone. You know, they say the face is the roadmap to the soul. If you look close, Brian Williams' face makes a U-turn in the middle of the block. You know, the same integrity that Brian Williams showed during the Iraq war was the exact same integrity he showed during the run-up of the Iraq war. Politicians and military contractors are horrified to discover they were spreading lies on a program hosted by a dishonest news anchor. In fact, Brian Williams has been party to so many lies about the Iraq war, I guess he thought one more wasn't gonna hurt anybody. You know, for a decade, Brian Williams has been America's most watched and most trusted teleprompter reader. I, for one, I'm super grateful that we have brave TV reporters like Brian Williams who are willing to go into war zones and risk their credibility by lying about it to the American people. For over 10 years, Brian Williams misremembered what happened in Iraq with precise misremembered details that involved exact misremembered people in this re misremembered event that he misremembers happening to him. He also misremembered his job is supposed to be telling the truth. When Brian Williams tells people that he plays it down the middle and tries not to take sides about the news, this also includes not taking sides on reality, I guess. Brian Williams' war stories are so full of shit that Tom Brokaw is going to produce a TV series about them on the Military Channel. You know, on late night talk shows, Williams has shown to have an impressive comedic skill. In fact, Williams claims this whole Iraq story is a long form improv that got out of control. You know, it's true that Brian Williams experienced heavy fire in Iraq, but the bullets couldn't pierce through that $10 million paycheck he got from a defense contractor he kept right here. Eventually, members of the military, people who are expected to give up their lives for lies of politicians, they told us what actually happened, and Brian Williams was forced to retract his story. You know, since the American public appears to be in the mood to clean house, let's not stop at Brian Williams. The Hall of Shame for the Liars of the Iraq War has plenty of vacancies for pundits, politicians, and presidents. They're easy to find. Just turn on the nightly news. And by the way, Brian Williams' apology was so sleazy and slimy, it's clear that Allison Williams is not the only family member with her head up their ass. You know, I don't know about you, but it almost seems like the entire Iraq war was a lie.